May 29th, 2014. That was the day that Mario Kart 8 was originally released for the Wii U. Since then, there has been nary a whisper, even a murmur, of a new game in the franchise. Sure, there was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which came out for the Switch back in 2017, but that was really just the same game released again because nobody realized that the Wii U was a thing. There has not been a single new entry in one of Nintendo's most beloved franchises in nearing a decade. Now, I'm not an idiot. I know exactly why that is. It's because Mario Kart 8 has and continues to, and let me check my notes here, sell approximately, uh, yes, a metric sh ton of copies every year. Seriously, I'm pretty sure this thing outsold the Bible. Why hasn't Nintendo made a Mario Kart 9 yet? It's because they don't need to. But eventually, that golden goose-shaped go-kart is gonna run dry. That's not, that's not what geese do. Pretty soon, there will come a point where Nintendo cannot sell any more copies of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because literally every single person on the planet already owns one. And when that time comes, it's Mario Kart 9 time, baby. Either that, or they'll pull a Windows and just skip right to 10 for some reason. Couldn't tell you. At the time I'm writing this script, there hasn't even been one of those crappy E3 trailers that's just like some swelling music across a generic background and then the title screen pops up and everyone loses their mind when we all know that the game isn't going to be released for like six or seven years. But it's never too early to dream. So, Nintendo, I hope you have your notepads out because here is my wish list for the inevitable Mario Kart 9 or 10. Whatever you want. Wish number one, a whole bunch of new tracks. And that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in next time. Ring that bell. I'm out of here. How do, how do I get out of here? Where do I... What? Wait, you wanted more? No, no, no. I'm serious. That is literally all I want. Look, I like an expansive roster and car parts and all that as much as the next guy. But let's be honest. You're just going to find the one combination that you like the best, get used to it, and then never deviate from it for the next seven years, toting the Mercedes for the win. If you want to make a game that keeps people coming back until Mario Kart 10 comes out in 2063, the only way to do that is to jam pack it full of unique courses. Y'all ready for some math? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe had 12 cups, with four tracks in each cup for a grand total of 48 unique tracks for you to race on. Now, that seems like a lot, but after playing for literal hours and hours and hours with your college roommates, even though you know full well that you've got a lab report due at midnight and it's like nine o'clock and you haven't even started yet and your lab partner, Ian, is texting you incessantly saying, hey, dude, where are you? Start the freaking lab report. And you're like, nah, man, I'm playing Mario Kart with the boys. You're bound to get some repeats. Also, don't be that guy. Help Ian out, do the lab report, and actually, pro tip, if you are the first one in like a group project, if you are the first one to start something, you know, you're like, oh guys, I'll, don't worry, I'll volunteer to do this stuff. It seems like you're being proactive, but really, you can just pick the easiest stuff, and then your, uh, your partners, they have to do all the hard work, and you can just sit back, having done the intro and the conclusion and all that junk, and you know, you, f you feel good, and you can play Mario Kart guilt-free, everybody wins! Except for Ian, he loses! Also Mar Mario Kart, this video is about Mario Kart, let's get back to Mario Kart. For Mario Kart 9 to truly feel worth it to a lot of people, it's gotta top the number of tracks present in Mario Kart 8, and preferably by quite a substantial margin. So, here's what I'm thinking. Out of the box, Mario Kart 9 has 16 cups. In classic Mario Kart fashion, the top 8, they were all brand new, never before seen cups, and then the bottom 8 
feature tracks that are all remastered from older Mario Kart games. And just to keep things spicy, let's say that none of these remastered tracks were present in any capacity in Mario Kart 8. Look, I like those tracks as much as the next guy, but I want something new. And yes, I'm sorry to all you Baby Park fans out there, but no, that one will not be making the cut because it's terrible and I hate it. With this many cups, that is a total of 32 brand new, never before seen courses and 32 of your favorite tracks from across the franchise remastered in glorious HD. And by your favorite, I mean my favorite. This is my wish list. I get to pick what makes the cut, so I don't care if Choco Island was your favorite track of all time. I never played Super Mario Kart, so it's not in there. Now, to be fair, I haven't played a lot of the older Mario Kart games, and I thought it'd be kind of boring if I just listed off every track in Mario Kart Wii and was like, yeah, these are the tracks I'd like to see come back. So I ended up just going in the Mario Kart Wiki and picking some of the names that I thought sounded the coolest. For example, and I'm not memorizing all this, so I'm busting out the old script, uh, Koopa Troopa Beach from Mario Kart 64 because it sounds kind of similar to Koopa Cape, which is the single greatest track that has ever been made, you cannot change my mind, Frap Snowland because it sounds freaking delicious, and Bansy Boardwalk because I like some alliteration. From Double Dash, we've got uh, Peach Beach and DK Mountain, which are some of the few that I actually recognize from Mario Kart Wii, which again, is the best one. Um, we've also got uh, Daisy's Cruiser, Mushroom City, uh, and Bowser's Castle. They just sound fun. Uh, and Wario's Coliseum sounds freaking crazy. I never thought that this guy, this guy, would have a place where gladiators can fight to the death for his own entertainment. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. And those are the only tracks from Double Dash that will be making it into Mario Kart 9. God, fine, fine. We can put Baby Park in there. It's just a freaking circle. I don't get it. I don't get it. And now for the ones that I've actually played. Mario Kart DS. Uh, we've got Delfino Square. Shroom Ridge. Shroom, shroom Ridge. Shroomish. Shroom Ridge. It sounds like I'm saying Shroomish. Yeah, you know what? Throw Shroomish in there. Uh, we also got DK Pass, Peach Gardens, Rainbow Road DS, Airship Fortress, because it's the coolest, don't fight me, and you already know, Waluigi's Pinball. Next up, Mario Kart Wii, aka the single best game in the franchise. Just listen to this stellar lineup and tell me that I'm wrong. You can't. You can't. Ready for this? Mushroom Gorge, Toad's Factory, Coconut Mall, DK Summit, Daisy Circuit, okay, that Daisy Circuit, actually not that great. I just think it would look really cool with the sunset and the HD. Get off my back. Uh, we've also got um, Maple Treeway, Moonview Highway, Rainbow Road, and the single greatest track in the entirety of the Mario Kart franchise, Koopa Freaking Cape. You know what? You know what? If Mario Kart 9 only had one track and it was Koopa Cape, I would still buy it. That's how, God. Freaking love Koopa Cape. God, so good. Greetings, everyone. My name is Ricardo. Today, I'd like to share a poem for you, all written by my good friend Chips, entitled Ode to the Cape of Koopas. He says he was too shy to read it himself but needed to let the world know how he feels. That, and he forgot to record this part himself and didn't realize until two days before the video came out. He says, it comes from the heart. So, here we go. Your shells are red. Sometimes they're green. You're the best damn track that I've ever seen. Just like your half-pipe, my heart's incomplete. But if my item luck is true, and there's no racer we can't defeat, not even Wario, and that guy's got like 50 tracks. Seriously, it's kind of a lot. Share the love, my guy. I've raced through cities, through mountains, through the very stars above. Yet no mine, no maw, no castle could compare to this humble little cove. Down your river, I'll fry with ungodly speed. Grant me anything but a fake item box, and I'll know we'll succeed. 
Has, you know, anyone ever fallen for one of those? I mean, what's even the point? It's so clearly red! Of the highest cliffs, and into the deepest depths, I'll follow you to marvel at your beauty from inside this hollow tube. But alas, me love, me amour, the end is almost upon us! So as I drift round your falls, I make one final promise. Before I cross the line, before I bid you farewell, to prolong this one final moment, I'll pray for one last blue shell. I'm not the fastest racer, but this I know to be true. I may not be a waterfall, but Koopa Cape, I've fallen for you. And last but not least, Mario Kart 7. Uh, let's see, we've got six slots left. Let's go with, uh, let's go Shy Guy Bazaar, Wario Shipyard. D this man's got a shipyard? What's next? What do you have? Wario's freaking funeral parlor? Yeah, actually, you know what? That one doesn't sound that bad. I might do it. All right, four more. Let's go uh, Rosalina's Ice World. Maybe throw another Bowser's Castle in there. And uh, the two Wii Sports tracks, uh, you know, on Woohoo Island? Because that island is the second greatest thing Nintendo has ever done, behind only Koopa Cape. <gasps> what if Koopa Cape was on Woohoo Island? Oh, oh, game changer. And those are the 32 tracks that I would love to see remastered in Mario Kart 9. Now, I'm not going to come up with names for all 32 of the brand new tracks. I can't do your whole job, Nintendo. But uh, here were just some uh, off-the-cuff ideas that I had. Maybe you could... Uh, Take the ball, run with it, see what happens. We've got uh, maybe like a, a Cascade Falls themed level from Mario Odyssey where there's a big T-Rex running it down the whole time. A Mario Maker one, Mario Maker track where it like builds itself as it goes. Maybe it's a little bit different each time, like there's different paths you can take. Uh, that would be cool. Maybe one that's like Koopa Cape, you know, kind of like Koopa Cape, but uh, you know, it's, it's just, uh, j just again, just do it again. Just do Koopa Cape again. And then a couple just rapid fire here. Maybe we could do like uh, Wario's cesspit. Uh, maybe Wario's uh, jailbreak. Uh, Wario's the island from Lost. Wario's totally legitimate pizza restaurant. That's not at all a front for the mob. Wario's grocery store. I can keep going. And to be honest, I would be totally satisfied if this was all Mario Kart 9 was. But you guys have had seven and a half years to work on this thing, so I don't feel too bad about asking for just a little bit more. Like, for example, DLC. Mario Kart 8 got four whole new cups, all themed around uh, Zelda, F-Zero, Retro Games, Animal Crossing, and it was great. If they did the same thing for Mario Kart 9, that would bring the total number of tracks up to a whopping 80, and that has gotta be enough to keep you engaged after like a four hour play sesh. Also, while you're at it, maybe uh, fix the randomization option when you're picking random courses so you don't get freaking bone dry desert every five minutes. That would be great, Nintendo. That would be great. A lot of people have been asking Nintendo to go full Smash Brothers with the Mario Kart franchise and release Nintendo Kart instead of Mario Kart 9. Now, I don't know if this is necessary. I feel like Mario is perfectly capable of carrying this kart genre all on his own. But I'm not opposed to the idea, if only for an expanded uh, track selection. You know, you could have something from Pokemon, something from uh, Kirby, Breath of the Wild. Hyrule Field seems like an obvious one, but uh, you could also do like that big snowboarding mountain, you know, the big, the big one you shield surf all the way down. That thing's so much fun, it could be a game in and of itself. Uh, let's see, you could also maybe throw some F-Zero tracks in there. Those fans have been left out in the rain long enough. Uh, Gruntilda's Lair? Will be cool, and you know, while you're at it, uh, maybe just give us a remastered Banjo Kazooie game. Just throw that, you know, also give us that. That would be great. That would be awesome. Oh, and like 12 Fire Emblem tracks just to piss people off because I'm a terrible person, and I think that's just so funny. 
As for an expanded roster, like I said, I don't really care that much. I'm just gonna pick Toad every single time anyway, so, uh, you know what? Throw in whoever you want. Now, would it be cool to race as someone like Kirby or Sonic or Lucario? Maybe like Peach or Zelda? Peach? Peach is already in there. I'm dumb. Zelda or Samus or Cloud or Banjo-Kazooie? Hold up. Hold up. As I was saying, an expanded roster is extremely important to me, so if you could just go ahead, grab all the models from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, just, you know, drag, drop them into the Mario Kart 9 file, just have them all as playable racers, that would be great. Trust me, I'm an engineer, that's exactly how it works. And that's just about everything I'd like to see in the new Mario Kart 9- OH MY GOD I FORGOT BATTLE MODE WAS A THING! I didn't really mess around too much with the battle mode in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is a shame, because I remember having literal WARS in Balloon Battle as a kid, and it was great. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe added a whole bunch of extra modes within the battle mode, and they were all cool I guess, but I only really played them once or twice, thought, hmm, that was cool I guess, and then went back to racing mode and never looked back. Now, is that because I'm some jaded Gen Z kid whose attention span has been reduced to that of a goldfish because of this ultra fast paced social media dominated world we live in where everyone's fighting to have their five seconds of fame and therefore only a super fast paced lightning race can hold my attention over a more uh, methodical strategical game mode? No. The battle mode in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe lacked a certain uh, je ne sais quoi in my opinion. Nintendo tried to make it more exciting by adding in all these extra modes, but let's be honest, nothing is ever going to match the pure carnage and bliss that is Balloon Battle mode, so while I don't think they need to remove any of these new modes by any stretch in the new game, I don't think they have to worry about adding in new ones either. Also, this might be controversial, but I think Mario Kart 8 Deluxe got a little too ambitious with their battle arena design. Sure, they all look really cool, but it's way harder to actually find someone and you spend the whole time just driving around some confusing figure eight thing looking for someone you can actually throw your green shell at. Compare that to the absolute terror and carnage of driving around just a flat DS floating in space. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. There's a reason kids were always busting out DS download play on the school bus and the one kid that owned Mario Kart DS was the most popular kid in school. And it wasn't so they could all get lost together on a big freaking space station. Honestly, just let me and my friends duke it out on the top of a giant switch in space, and I'll be chill. And those, I think, are all of my wishes for the inevitable Mario Kart 9 completely free of charge to all of you over at Nintendo. Though, if you wanted to send me a free copy of the game a few weeks before it came out, and, you know, maybe a couple of checks in the mail, maybe a credit, you know, lead designer in the credits, those would all be great too. But for all you folks watching at home, keep in mind that these are just fun, harmless, uh, you know, ideas, speculation, and you know, don't get your hopes too high for a game before it comes out and then completely write it off if it's not exactly how you imagined it. Just be chill, be open-minded, enjoy things for how they are, not how you wanted them to be, and we can all have a good time, right? Right? And with that, I'm sure I will see all of you at next year's E3 where Nintendo's presentation will end with some swelling saxophone music, some engines revving in the background as the title screen for Wario's Mario Kart 9 appears on screen, only for it to inevitably be delayed several times and release in the winter of 2027. Ah. <sighs>